Hi folks, it's Dan the Furnace Man here, at least this week. This week we're doing a hot surface igniter replacement on the Ream Criterion Gas Furnace. This was me when I came home from work to a cold house. First, the diagnostic. The thermostat is set for 68, but the ambient air temperature is 65. Periodically I could hear the combustion motor kicking in, a familiar sound that usually meant heat was on the way. But this time, when the main blower kicked on, it was cold air. So I went down to the furnace and removed the upper cover from the front of the furnace, and indeed the upper motor was spinning up okay. After about a minute, I could hear a relay energize and a rush of gas flowed through the gas lines and the main blower came on. I also noticed there was no ignition of the gas, no flames, nothing but a cold draft. Now I didn't know at this point what type of ignition this furnace used. I assumed it would be a spark igniter, like those found on gas grills and most newer stoves. I expected a rapid clicking, but I heard none. That wouldn't surprise me since I've known spark igniters to be prone to fail. However, after a little research I learned that this furnace uses something called a hot surface igniter. Basically it's a glow plug that gets red hot and uh, sets off the natural gas. It's positioned across the output side of the rightmost burner. As a safety measure, there's also a flame sensor in a similar position on the leftmost burner. That one looks something like a spark igniter, but don't be confused. This is angled in front of the burner, and it senses when the flame is there. Now, after some contemplation, I decided the most likely failure was at this hot surface glow plug igniter. It was either faulty or there was no power going to it. Since the control board had green lights, I surmised all was well, electrically speaking, so I decided uh, to do a little research, and I found a Ream Criterion hot surface igniter. There was one online. The pictures looked identical to the, to the uh, unit that I have in my furnace. It has a ProTech part number, 62-22868-93. 62-22868-93. $23 on Amazon. I ordered it next day. That ran another $23. Now to replace the part, I powered down the furnace. I removed the upper furnace cover, unplugged the Molex connector that feeds power to the igniter. A little squeeze on the release prongs and off it came. Then I removed two screws from the angled bracket holding the element across the right side of the burner output. Now holding the bracket, and the igniter, I removed one screw from the bracket and that released the igniter from the bracket. I placed the new igniter on the bracket, being careful not to touch the element, the part that gets hot, and I put the screws back in place. In my research, several people cautioned me that oil from your skin can cause hot spots on the glow part of the igniter, and that would cause premature failure, so I was careful with that. I returned the bracket to the furnace, reinstalling the two screws, plugged in the Molex connector, and powered up the furnace. As expected, the upper combustion blower kicked in again. Short time after that, the new hot surface igniter began to glow a bright orange. About a half minute later, I could hear the gas relay snap and saw the burners light up, but this time without the help of my handy lighter. So for less than $50, that's how to replace the hot surface igniter on the Ream Criterion gas furnace.